Hi everyone, I'm Susan from unknownphotographer.net. I've dragged you all out here today to kind of cruise around the Seattle public market and do something I like to call tchotchke photography. Tchotchke photography is the photography of junk or stuff, trinkets, knickknacks. The reason that I like to do it is because it helps train my eye as a photographer to find the beauty in the ordinary. It's basically a good way to find composition, color, and most importantly light in very ordinary things. It's just a, a really excellent way to keep training your eye no matter where you are or what you're doing. So come on with me and let's shoot some junk. So as I'm looking at all these tchotchkes and things here at the market, I'm just really looking for something that catches my eye. As I walk past this, you see this uh, gem skull that's just kind of like shining in the sunlight. It just immediately caught my eye, so I'm going to go in for a photo. See what I can get. One of the things I'm always looking for, especially at an outdoor market like this, is light shining through things. I just kind of, I love the effect it, get, it gives. Here's some soaps right here in these little, like, uh, I don't know, burlap bags. And I just like the way the light is shining through there. So I'm gonna try to see what I can get. All right, let's keep it moving. So this jewelry here really caught my eye. I really like how there's no background behind this and I like all the different shapes and the colors and the shimmery quality of it. There's a lot of junk in a market and not everything is necessarily a photographic opportunity, but my eye will definitely be drawn to something probably sooner than later. Excuse me. Um, we're doing a photographic tutorial. Uh, do you mind if I photograph some of this? That'd be all right. You don't mind? Okay, thank you. So I really love this jewelry. It's really amazing. And there is some natural light coming in the window. So... It'd be a challenge, right? Yeah. No, no, it looks great. It looks great. I just love the silver colors and the beads that she's chosen to make this stuff. And actually, this is one of the tchotchkes that I would like to buy after I photograph it. That doesn't happen very often. So I'm really um, looking at something like this for more of my angle of view. I'm going to come down low and kind of shoot this way and get whatever's in focus is more in the forefront of my shot. I'm trying to get the price tags out of the shot and just kind of focus in on the jewelry. I'm shooting at 1.2 um, just so I can get one specific thing in focus. So something like this, I'm going to change my angle of view. I started down low and shot this way, and I'm going to go up and focus on something with just all the white in the background. It's, she has it on this white mat, and there's a, a maroon blanket around it, so I want to get that maroon out of it. Just really get something to pop out with a white background. The thing that kills me the most about tchotchke photography is the minimum focus distance. I always want to get closer than I can, and you just have to take a step back and let the autofocus work where it may. I really like these hands, uh, kind of third eye going on here, and this frame is cool as well. It's also the contrast between the light hands and the dark background. I want to see what I can do with that. So when it comes to something like this, we have four hands on a board. I'm just trying to find a composition that I like. I can either center these three hands in a shot or kind of get this one off to the top. Just kind of look through my viewfinder and see where I want to stop. So something like that, you know, you might take three or four shots, get a few different compositions and uh, keep moving.
Thank you, ma'am. So there's all these little trinkets right here, and this light is kind of shining down on the glass, showing through the glass. So I, it kind of drew my eye. The other thing is it's really colorful. So not only, you know, you're looking at composition, you're looking at contrast, and also looking at color. The other thing I really like about this composition is these wine bottles that are behind the glass. Just kind of has that feel of tchotchkes that I like. So I'm going to get down low and start from this angle. Of course I'm adjusting my settings because it is a little bit bright. Shooting up, getting this stuff in the background. There's just a lot of good color, so I'm really enjoying this. Hopefully it won't kick us out. So I really like uh, how this thing is angled, the bottles here with all these little trinkets. Um, one thing is if I'm exposing for something back here, this light is so bright on these objects that I kind of have to take that into consideration and underexpose the shot a little bit. Ooh, I like that. Cool, moving right along. So we're out in front of this store called Hands of the World. There's a lot of stuff from all over the world in here. Great tchotchkes, but they won't let us shoot in here. So just a reminder to everybody about perseverance. It's the same thing when you're st doing street photography and you ask strangers if you can shoot them. A lot of times they just say no, but you gotta keep on going. So we're gonna find tchotchkes somewhere else besides Hands of the World. So now we can't shoot it. Oh, okay, she said no, so moving right along. There's other stuff, so we'll just not put them on our video. <laughs> okay, I'm just really frazzled right now. You're what? I'm just really frazzled. Why? Because those people are so rude and... But it's okay. It's just crowded in here. Okay. We're gonna do it outside. No, those people are just as rude. Hope you enjoyed this video on Chosky Photography. Remember, it's just all about getting out there and shooting something interesting out of something absolutely ordinary. It's all about composition, looking for color, and most importantly, looking for light. So get out there and shoot, you guys. And this is Susan with unknownphotographer.net. I'm over and out. But when I say goodnight, it really means just come out. We can end this in the morning. Whatever happened to the ladies of the silver screen? Yeah.